beautiful world and welcome to today's video. I'm continuing with the infertility series and today I'm going to be discussing ovulation dysfunction. I'm going to be explaining exactly what that is, some common signs and symptoms, and how it contributes to infertility. So let's get into it. dysfunction is described as a condition in which the ovaries fail to release an egg or the ovaries release eggs sporadically throughout a calendar year. One signs and symptoms associated with ovulation dysfunction are going to be having absent or irregular periods, having spotting in between periods, and if you're using the fertility awareness method, you may notice that your basal body temperature is going to vary quite frequently throughout your cycle. Or you may also notice that your cervical fluid is not fertile or you're not producing fertile cervical fluid. Another common sign and symptom associated with ovulation dysfunction is going to be that, especially you'll notice this if you're tracking your cycles, that the length of your cycles is going to vary drastically from month to month. And what that means is if you normally have a one month, let's say you have a, a cycle that lasts for 25 days and then the next month it's 35 and then the next month after that it's 21, that is a common sign associated with having ovulation dysfunction. Function can be caused by a variety of different issues and a variety of different problems presenting itself within your body. This is why it's important that you work with a fertility expert and that you are using something such as a fertility awareness method where you are tracking your monthly cycles, you are tracking your your cervical fluid, you are tracking your basal body temperature and you're really becoming familiar with your body and what it's telling you so you can take this evidence to your fertility expert. They will take that evidence and decide what tests or assessments they need to run and they can help to discover or find or pinpoint the exact issue that is causing ovulation dysfunction to present itself. But some common issues or some common causes that contribute to ovulation dysfunction is going to be having low progesterone levels, thyroid issues, premature ovarian failure, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, menopause, chronic stress, underlying health complications or chronic illness. Simply, ovulation dysfunction is interfering with the entire fertilization and conception process because your ovaries are failing to produce and release eggs or in the off chance that your ovaries are producing and releasing eggs, it's quite sporadically and typically the quality of those eggs is greatly diminished. If you suspect that you may have an issue with ovulation dysfunction, the best thing that you can do as always is to make sure that you are charting your monthly cycles, make sure that you understand what's happening within your body using something such as the fertility awareness method which is wonderful at helping you to get awareness about what is happening within your body. So that is basically learning more about your cervical fluid and what your body is telling you. Um, also checking and monitoring your basal body temperature and just basically taking all of this information and going to your fertility awareness expert and letting them know what's going on so that way they will know exactly what assessments and what tests they need to run so they can get to the core issue and be able to help you better. If you found this video helpful and insightful and if you did please give me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot. Also make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If you are not go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring the notification bell that way you do not miss any of the other videos I have in the infertility series. Until next time here is to redefining health and staying forever young. Bye.